Okay, so we are passing on to the um, second part of the circulatory system, that is the venous system. Okay, so it's all about the uh, veins and uh, the, those uh, uh, vessels which carry blood back to the heart. Okay, so that is what the venous system includes. So venous system, it includes the vessels which carry blood from various parts of the body towards the heart. Okay, now uh, in the case of um, uh, mullet, the deoxygenated blood collected from various parts of the body has to be emptied to sinus venosus. Okay, I hope you remember the structure of heart. Okay, so sinus venosus, this is the sinus venosus and this is the auricle and this is the ventricle, isn't it? So, uh, blood from the uh, ventricle, it is pumped to the ventral iota and is uh, taken to various parts of the body by way of the arterial system. While from various parts of the body, the blood is collected through veins and it is uh, taken back to sinus venosus in the venous system. Right. So this is what we are learning now. So the venous system. Okay. Now this you can see. Uh, this is the sinus venosus. Okay. Here this part is represented as sinus venosus, and you can see there are two uh, vessels which reach the sinus venosus, and this is referred as the pre-caval vein. Okay. It is known as pre-caval vein. P R E C A V A L. Pre-caval vein. Okay. Now this pre-caval vein is formed by each of the pre-caval vein is formed by the fusion of three veins. Okay, one is internal jugular, the second is anterior cardinal, and the third is posterior cardinal. This is the posterior cardinal vein. Okay, so these three veins join together to form the pre-caval vein. Okay, and a pair of pre-caval veins empty blood into the sinus venosus. Clear? This pre-caval vein is otherwise known as ductus cuvieri. Okay, it is uh, uh, pre-caval vein is uh, just another name for ductus cuvieri. Okay, I hope it is clear now. Fine. Now another uh, vessel which empties blood to the heart directly, sinus stenosis, is the hepatic vein. You can see hepatic vein. As the name suggests, a pair of hepatic veins it arises from the liver. Okay, the vein which come uh, originates from liver that is what is named as hepatic vein. So directly sinus stenosis receives blood from three, I mean, two pairs of vessels. One is a pair of pre-caval vein or a uh, ductus cuvieri. Another is a pair of hepatic veins. Okay. Now, uh, so this, these are the things. Now, uh, internal jugular vein, actually this vein, it uh, receives blood from uh, or it takes blood from the ventral part of the heart. Ventral part in the sense, it takes blood from the uh, floor of the buccal cavity or uh, um, what you call a uh, the branchial inferior uh, uh, from the buccal floor, the branchial region, etc. While the anterior cardinal vein, it receives blood or it takes blood from the dorsal part of the heart. Okay, that is the uh, roof of the uh, buccal cavity, the uh, sensory parts, all those uh, from all those regions, the blood is collected via the anterior cardinal vein. Okay, and uh, so these two, anterior cardinal vein and the internal jugular vein, it form, it collects blood from the head region. Fine. Okay. So on both the sides, it takes blood from the and uh, the uh, head region. Now from the posterior part of the body, the blood is collected via the posterior cardinal vein. And we can, uh, for the convenience of study, we can name the whole system as posterior cardinal system okay the various veins which collect blood from various parts of the body and pour that blood into the posterior cardinal vein the whole system those veins as well as the posterior cardinal vein together can be called as posterior cardinal system the posterior cardinal vein in the way another pala body parts in the blood collected the tela kunyi kunyi veins plus the main posterior cardinal vein in chairnata posterior cardinal system. Okay, now this posterior cardinal system it carries blood. You can see posteriorly it starts from here, from the kidneys. Okay. And uh, you can see these are the smaller, smaller veins. Okay, one, two, three, four. All these are renal veins. Why the name? Because these are the veins which collect blood from kidneys okay that is why it is named as a renal vein now there are two kinds of renal veins one is efferent renal veins another is afferent renal veins okay afferent renal veins actually those veins it ends in the kidney okay so other kidney 
ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്യുക ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ബ്ലഡ് കിഡ്നിയിലേക്ക് കൊടുക്കുക ചെയ്യുന്നത് എപ്പറന്റ് റീനൽ വെയിൻസ് ഓക്കെ വയൽ ഇപ്പറന്റ് റീനൽ വെയിൻസ് ആക്ച്വലി ദോസ് ആർ റീനൽ വെയിൻസ് വിച്ച് കളക്ട് ബ്ലഡ് ഫ്രം ദ കിഡ്നീസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദ പോസ്റ്റിരിയർ കാർഡിനൽ വെയിൻ ഇറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഫ്രം ദീസ് ഫോർ ഫ്രം ദ ഇപ്പറന്റ് റീനൽ വെയിൻസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് യു ക്യാൻ സി ദാറ്റ് ദർ ആർ ടു പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ കാർഡിനൽ വെയിൻസ് റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഓവർ ഹിയർ ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ റൈറ്റ് ഓവർ ഹിയർ and each of these cardinal vein posterior cardinal vein is formed by the union of several efferent renal veins okay there are uh, many pairs of efferent renal veins which join to form the posterior cardinal vein over here okay and on the way uh, to the sinus venosus it receives blood from okay you can see segmental vein okay so uh, it receives blood from the body wall through segmental vein the body wall il ninnalla blood പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ കാർഡിനൽ വെയിനിലേക്ക് പോർ ഔട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് സെഗ്മെന്റൽ വെയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ റീനൽ വെയിൻസ് ജോയിൻ ടു ഫോം ദ പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ കാർഡിനൽ വെയിൻ ആൻഡ് ഓൺ ദ വേ ടു ദ സൈനസ് വിനോസസ് ഇറ്റ് റിസീവ്സ് ബ്ലഡ് ഫ്രം ബോഡി വോൾ ത്രൂ സെഗ്മെന്റൽ വെയിൻ ഓവർ ഹി യു ക്യാൻ സി സെഗ്മെന്റൽ വെയിൻ വോട്ട് യു കോൾ ഫ്രം ദ പെൽവിക് ഫിൻ റീജൻ ത്രൂ ദ പെൽവിക് വെയിൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് മൂവ്സ് ടുവേർഡ്സ് ദി വോട്ട് യു കോൾ സൈനസ് വിനോസസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൺ ദ വേ ഇറ്റ് റിസീവ്സ് ബ്ലഡ് ഫ്രം the gonads gonadial vein okay through the gonadial vein and then further up it also receives uh, blood from the uh, what you call uh, the branchial region or the uh, pectoral fin re- uh, pectoral fin region and through the branchial vein okay and then it pours out as left uh, the posterior cardinal vein clear so posterior cardinal vein it is formed by the fusion of the efferent renal veins okay and this posterior cardinal vein moves anteriorly towards the sinus venosus and the, on the way uh, up you can see it receives blood from body wall through segmental vein from the pelvic fin region through the pelvic fin, uh, vein and then gonads from the gonads through gonadial vein and from the pectoral fin region through the branchial vein okay so all these together form what is referred as the posterior cardinal vein okay now uh, there are two other uh, vein systems one is the hepatic Uh, portal system and the uh, renal portal system okay what is portal system portal system is actually a part of the venous system it is formed by portal veins p o r okay here you can see portal okay so what does what is unique about it a portal vein usually a vein what uh, what it does is normally a vein starts from a body part and ends in the uh, heart okay here you can see hepatic vein starts from liver ends in sinus venosus likewise it's this starts from uh, kidney fr- starts from uh, gonads it starts from the uh, pectoral fin and ends in uh, what you call heart okay it is uh, every vein it carries blood from a particular body part and it takes it to the heart but in the portal vein what happens is uh, here it uh, this each of the portal vein uh, it, it 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 includes a vein which begins with branches okay from a um, branches in in a particular organ and through these branches the blood is collected from this organ and then the blood is taken to a uh, through a particular vein a main vein okay all the branches they unite to form a main vein and the blood passes through this main vein and then it enters an another organ there it branches out again and it pours this blood to this organ okay for example you can see over here okay this particular vein okay this is caudal vein caudal vein means it is starting from the tail okay and there you can see the uh, at the end there will be many branches here it is not shown okay so so many smaller smaller uh, vessels veins it may have collected blood from the tail region and all these may have fused to form a single caudal vein and this caudal vein it takes blood and it enters the kidney okay after entering the kidney you can see it gives off branches and these branches have been named as afferent renal veins what does it do through these branches the blood which was carried from the tail is poured into the kidney you are getting so what happens uh, uh, from an organ blood is collected and it is poured into another organ uh, instead of getting directly uh, taking the blood directly into the heart it it is pouring into another organ okay such a kind of a system is known as portal vein system okay or it is portal system right now in in the fishes you can see two types of uh, portal system that is hepatic portal system and renal portal system as the name indicates renal portal system it drains blood 
uh, from uh, body parts to kidneys while hepatic portal system it drains blood takes blood from various parts of the body and it drains it into liver okay now first we can see renal portal system so in the mullet what happens is the renal portal system it, it collects blood from the tail and drains it into kidneys okay and it you can see it starts with a caudal vein right in the tail it is this caudal vein is formed by the fusion of smaller smaller veins and once it enters the body cavity the caudal vein divides into um, right and left you can see here okay right and left uh, renal portal vein but before it uh, reaches the uh, what you call branching point you can see it gives off another branch okay so caudal vein it gives off another branch over here right and it moves forward as caudal vein and then it uh, divides into two left and the uh, right renal portal vein okay the left uh, portal vein after entering the kidney it gives off branches okay and these branches are known as afferent renal veins okay on the other hand the renal uh, the right renal portal vein after entering the uh, kidney it actually receives efferent renal veins okay these are efferent renal veins so it receives blood from the kidneys through efferent renal veins and then it joins with the posterior cardinal vein you get it okay so left renal portal vein after entering the kidneys it gives off branches which are known as afferent renal veins and through these afferent renal veins the blood which was which has reached the kidney is poured into the kidneys okay while uh, the right um, renal portal vein it enters the kidney it receives blood from the efferent renal vein and then it joins with the right posterior cardinal vein okay right now what happens to the blood over here the blood which was given off into drained into the kidney through afferent renal vein it is getting purified okay that is uh, the it is getting filtered okay and then it is collected through efferent renal veins and it is poured into the posterior cardinal veins clear okay so that is what happens so such a kind of a system is known as the renal portal system okay so from kidneys blood is drained by the efferent uh, renal veins which join with the uh, right renal portal vein uh, and the two posterior cardinal veins okay so that is what the renal portal system is all about now what about the hepatic hepatic portal system hepatic portal system starts with a branch from the caudal vein okay so there is a uh, what you call a, a branch from the caudal vein it takes blood from the tail region to the liver and on the way back to the liver it take uh, it receives blood from uh, various parts of the alimentary canal so all here you can see the alimentary canal okay so it collects blood from various parts of the alimentary canal through these veins you can see it is not labeled even though it is from the alimentary canal then it also receives blood from gas bladder or what is known as a swim bladder or air bladder and then it forms a hepatic portal vein and gives uh, enters the liver gives off branches and through these branches the blood drain from the caudal region it is taken to the liver there filtration occurs okay and the blood which has reached the liver through the hepatic portal vein it is connect, collected by the branches of the hepatic vein okay and it is drained into the sinus venosus clear so this is the hepatic portal system okay starting from the branch of the from the caudal vein until it branches off into the liver the whole system is referred as the hepatic portal system i hope it is clear okay so we saw the venous system uh, that is uh, venous system it consists of um, the uh, um, like blood draining into the sinus venosus all those vessels which take blood back to the sinus venosus constitutes what is referred as the venous system okay and there are two major uh, vessels which directly pour blood into the uh, sinus venosus one is the a, a pair of ductus cuvieri or a pair of what you call as the uh, what you call precaval vein okay and second is a pair of hepatic veins okay now precaval vein it is formed by the fusion of three veins that is you can see the internal jugular anterior cardinal and posterior cardinal on either side okay internal jugular it takes blood from the uh, what you call ventral side of the uh, um, the head region while the anterior cardinal vein it collects blood from the dorsal part of the head region while the posterior cardinal veins it collects blood from the uh, posterior part of the heart okay posterior part of the heart means posterior part of the body uh, it, it the posterior cardinal veins collect the blood from okay now there are two other systems that is the portal system so you can see the hepatic portal system and the renal portal system okay